Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you a cool little tool called Windows 10 Debloat Tool GUI. The reason the GUI's on there, graphical user interface, is that the script was written by Dimitri, who submitted it to us. It's called the Sophia script. Check the video description in the eye up here for all these links. There's the Sophia script. And he submitted it to us, and I didn't like it. I liked it, but I didn't like that you had to edit 150 plus lines to make it work right. Then I saw that this guy made it a graphical user interface for it. Check it out. Hit your download now. Get your file. Extract it wherever you want. It's portable. And all we got to do is go into the folder. And double click Windows 10 Debloat EXE, which will spit up a security warning. Remember what it says exactly what it says. Major Geeks tests everything first. It's PowerShell. Windows is protecting your system because it probably doesn't think you should be playing with PowerShell scripts doesn't recognize the app everything you know is right here of course it's not recognized so let's click more info should be recognized the script sitting right on github which is owned by microsoft but i digress run anyway if you're not sure you can back out now go to the page click right here and when you do you can list by popularity and find something that maybe suits your needs a little bit better i think you'll like it though hang in there all right, so we got it running. So here's what you need to know. It's not that hard. There's a couple of really cool things about it I think you'll like. Note your green and red. Notice how they're side by side. It's important to note that green and red does not mean green safe. Red is maybe more dangerous. As you line your mouse over, by the way, you can see what it does. But I had to mention that as I line my mouse over here to explain to you that this is disable. This is enable. That's your green and red, and it will continue as you go. So let's pick a few things. Disable checkboxes. What's that? There you go. Hide 3D objects. Let's get rid of the Xbox game bar. And I'm going to set it there so it doesn't take too long to show you how to run it. Once you've gone through, take your time. Pick everything you want. Here's one of the coolest things about it. You don't necessarily waste your time. We can output to PowerShell. Click this right here. And you can see 3D objects hide. The Xbox game bar that we just you saw me do two things you can do you can run it as PowerShell but here's the best part click Save As and we're gonna call this test and I'll save it in downloads so check this out let's say you want to share it with friends maybe you're deploying computers in a small shop where you want to speed up tweaking your machine so they look cool and run cool there's your script it's a custom PowerShell script now there's your hide 3d objects there's your Xbox game bar, Xbox game tips, and everything else stays blank. Pound means ignore in PowerShell scripts and a lot of places. All right, so let's look a little farther. Now we have the script. We've saved it, but you don't have to. If you just want to use it for yourself personally, all you got to do is click run PowerShell right here. Kick back. Once again, you're going to get a security warning. You have a choice. Do not run. Run once. Suspend. R is going to be your choice here. Press R. Press Enter. And kick back and wait. Takes a little bit to run, mostly because it's going to create a restore point. That's probably the longest part of the whole thing, which is good because now you have a PowerShell script. And while this is running, look how fast it's going now. PowerShell scripts are fast. It closes. You're done. If you have a problem, you don't like something come back in or you can actually open that script edit it take out the one that causing you a problem run it again or as we mentioned just come back here turn them back on if you only did a handful but if you did 20 or 30 of them you're gonna want to know how to click defaults options default see how they're back now there you go Hopefully, in a perfect world, right? What, what I'm clicking on now? <sighs> What's this? Easy way to open your PowerShell script. And, of course, that's a better one. There we go. I knew something was wrong there. So, rather than defaults, let's do, because it looks like default. Let's see here. Let me bring back to gaming. It's disabling the Xbox game bar when you click default. So, click clear all. Now nothing is checked, and you're back to where you were. Now you're set. Sorry about that.
There we go. Donations are accepted. And as far as I know, I don't know if he takes them. The script's available as open source. I don't know if he takes donations either. And there you go. He's got some support me. So if you like it, give the guy some love. There you have it. Windows 10 debloat tool GUI. So you've currently, by using this, have done a ton of debloating. And you should have a much better running Windows 10. All right, guys. Don't forget, bottom right corner, click subscribe. Thanks for watching, as always. See you.